Hey viewers, it's the Casual Pro Gamer once again with Sona. Uh, this time I hope it'll be a little bit more of an exciting game because last time it was over before it actually begun. So we're just going to try again. Uh, I had to remove about half my, not exactly half my memory from my computer, so hopefully it'll still be able to record everything properly. But we'll have to see, I guess. So, again, starting out with the gold build. And just going from there. Like a going to have to get some mana, probably, at some point, because with 300 mana, I can do only very little. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. But we'll have to see. So I'm going to lane with Nocturne. Nocturne is very fragile because he's, well, an assassin. So I'm going to try to heal him up where possible. And he's going to get in the bushes like a real pro. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, I'm not going to follow him. I'm not going to actually go there. It is a good plan to actually be here somewhere to prevent them from going there. So I'm starting out with Minions healing this time. Shall we this okay, that heal was totally unnecessary because he was still almost at full health. And he has a healer in his lane. You want to keep your heal up until the latest possible moment. And again, you don't want to push the lane. It seems so easy, but nobody seems to care. Oh, too late. Okay, enemy Nocturne just waited until everything was done, apparently. Instead of just going to heal in base. With perfect tempo. So again running the magic penetration uh, reds and the uh, mana regeneration yellows and reds, uh, y yellows and blues, and health quints. I only have health quints, so it's an easy choice. So I guess I'll have to get some mana regen for Nocturne as well, because he's going through mana like it's water. But it really isn't. I mean, look at the difference. I'm still at almost full mana, and he's at almost no mana. And it don't use your mana to farm, because you need it to harass your opponents, which he clearly didn't do. I'm just trying to get the power cord off on the enemies. As well as some of the other attacks. But they're way behind their turrets when I come in, so there's not a whole lot I can do. Mm. 
And of course there's this annoying ability from Katarina that prevents me from healing properly. And he keeps pushing. And keeps using his mana to actually do the pushing. Still, I'm at like 80% mana. He's at like 20% mana. And he should realize that's not the way to do these things. Then again, this is really low elo. He's probably not even level 30 yet. So I'm just guessing he has no clue. Enemy Nocturne is also at no mana at all, so... It's not like there's a difference between them. I don't know why he keeps putting on the the, the the armor. No, not the armor, the shield. Because I haven't fired anything at him yet. An ability that is. And he cannot block the other attacks. And this uh, Nocturne only uses his Q to harass, if that, because it's not even to harass, it's mainly just to, yeah, to farm. He just hits him every now and then. But the main damage seems to be coming from me. Oh, ran out of the bush there, accidentally. He <laughs> really doesn't understand this character. <laughs> he keeps trying to block my uh, my auto attack, which of course doesn't work, as it's not a spell. At this point, I'd better use one of my abilities at least, because I have full mana. And I'm going to harass a bit more. Two out of her attacks off there, as well as the power cord. And although it's not a lot of damage, it stacks up. Nice of you to pay attention. Yeah, this is okay. It may be my fault because I didn't communicate, but it should be obvious that <laughs> I was going to attack there. And he just attacks the minions like there's nothing happening. Because he cannot read the game state. And we're totally winning this lane. Only we're not getting any kills from it. And he keeps chatting in all 